About a quarter of UCSD's ICU patients are coming for COVID treatment. Scripps and Sharp are larger, but data they provided showed their ICUs are around 90 percent full, with 40 to nearly 50 percent of COVID patients. UCSD's chief clinical officer, Margarita Baggett, says the other patients in their ICU include those in its burn unit, which is the only one in the region, and trauma patients. So we're seeing a lot more gunshot wounds, motor vehicle accidents, drunk driving again, so we are, right now I had to open up an extra overflow unit so I could decant the amount of high level trauma patients. I never had to do that before. Some beds are also holding surgery patients. Baggett says UCSD is evaluating how to pull back on non-urgent procedures to create more room for COVID patients. We get more demand, um, not only our own patient population, but requests from other hospitals, we are postponing elective surgeries. We're not postponing all, but we're looking at a certain percentage that we need to, to help the community and to help our own patients. But she says UCSD has already had to turn down transfer requests from other facilities. Is there a decision you've had to make that keeps you up at night? Is there a decision? I think What's keeping me up at night if I have to start making these decisions? So right now it hasn't been a decision because you mentioned earlier that, you know, you have had to say no to some transfers. And so, yes, in my mind, walking the dog last night. Yes. You, I, I don't know the outcome of that patient. You know what I mean? So yeah. Would I worry that? Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, it's a very, it's a horrible time we're in right now. The region-wide ICU capacity for Southern California, which includes San Diego County, hit 6.2 percent today. That figure was just below 15 percent last week when the new regional stay-home order was triggered. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.